We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show, where our one rule is... I don't know where our one rule is. Oh, okay. Welcome to the Freak Show, where our one rule is sometimes dreams do come true. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. We are going to be hopping in and playing Cross Tales today. It is by Rideon Incorporated and Chemco, released on July 19th, 2023. This is the Steam version of the game. I'll be playing it on a PlayStation 5 controller, and I'm very, very excited, guys and gals. Uh, I've been wanting to get in touch with and work with Chemco for a very, very long time, and it's finally happened. So a big shout out and a thank you from the bottom of my heart to Chemco for hooking me up with the code for this and being willing and uh, eager to work with me. So uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. It happened like very early in the morning. So uh, I, I had to wake up and make sure it wasn't all just a weird dream. But either way, guys and gals, this is going to be some tactical turn-based strategy fun. And you guys know how much I love that stuff. So we're diving in and we're beginning. Also, it's from right on. You guys know the Mercenary series. That's great. I mean, come on, we we this, this is this is a match made in heaven. I'm I'm here for it. Let's do it. All right, story selection. It looks like there are a couple of different options. Uh, we have the Kingdom of Ra uh, Ranverfurt. Ranverfurt. Okay, story. Um, the main character is Felix Ahrens, a young platoon leader assigned to Maur Base after graduating from a military academy. On his first mission, he is given the task of exterminating the bandits that appear along a nearby highway. A story about how he overcomes numerous missions and trials with his comrades, and grows as a soldier. And we have the Republic of Hidik story. Um, main character is Shema Jerby, and I'm probably going to be mispronouncing a whole bunch of stuff. Apologies. So sorry. Uh, the only daughter of the Jerby clan, a prominent clan in the Republic of Hidik. Uh, she goes out on her own to exterminate bandits with her childhood friend, Nisreen. When she arrives at the scene, there is an unexpected enemy. A story of how she grows up as the daughter of the Lord of a Territory, through tough battles and in the face of conflict, with her strict father, who is known as the Sword Master. Interesting. I say I'd like to, to try to randomize this somehow, but I, I can't. It's, you oh, oh, no, no, you can't. All right. All right, I'm closing my eyes. I don't know what's happening. And this is the one. All right, we're going with the Republic of Hadik. So I just kept pressing right a whole bunch until... And I closed my eyes and tried not to know where I was at or count. So this is where we're at. This is where we be. All right, cool. We got a multitude of different difficulties. We have easy, which is enemy strength is weak, spoils are normal recovery at level up. Ooh, I do like that. I don't know how much I like that in a in a strategy RPG, but I like that in regular RPGs or JRPGs. Um, from knockout to retreat, five turns, MP at the start battle, 100%. For beginners and those not good at battles, the difficulty can be changed from the options. Then we have the normal... Uh, everything is normal, normal. There is no recovery at level up. It's fair. Uh, knockout is four turns, and we start at zero MP. All right, fair enough. And then hard, strong, increased, no three turns, zero MP. And finally, mighty, a great increase. Okay, so you do get more out of it when you do the harder difficulties. That's good. Um, I, I'm tempted to try hard, but I think I'm just going to go with normal. You know what? Let's let, let's do it. Let, let's go with hard. Let, let's see what we got. <sighs> All right. Who wants the battles to get their teeth into? All right. You guys know I, I love this stuff, so let, let's see if uh, I'm ready to step up my game. Granted, I generally like to go into harder difficulties, games that I'm more familiar with, but I haven't played this yet, so this might be a mistake. But it's going to be a mistake that we make together, and I'm blaming everybody but me. Chapter 1, A Tomboy. Oh, good. Didn't auto-advance the text. There were two countries... One of them was Hadik, a desert republic located in the southern part of the lands of Zalem, Zalemlok. Uh, it was a nation with a common destiny in which a large number of clans of the Felis tribe were gathered. The other country was Ranverfurt, a huge kingdom located in the northern part of the lands of Zalemlok. It was a civilized nation dominated by a race called the Hun Hundians, 
where discipline and order under the king were valued. Several decades ago, war broke out between the two countries. At first, both sides claimed that the other party was at fault, and used that as an excuse to engage in combat. However, on the other hand, they both denied knowledge of the other's statements and failed to reach an agreement. With both camps lacking a decisive blow, the war was long and indecisive, and now, how it began is obscure. However, with the passing of time, the spirits of war has gradually faded, and now there are only skirmishes near the borders. But the races hate each other for no, uh, for no reason, as if that hate were imprinted on their memories. Yeah, I suppose when you're at war and terrible people are doing terrible things for so long that um, if you kind of forget the whole start of it all, I, I, I get it, I get it. What are you doing, father? Are you going out somewhere? Yeah, the Skari village and the Halwani territory. What? The Halwani territory? What for? Robbers have appeared and the villagers are suffering. Huh. That's a matter for the Halwani clan. Why do you have to go get involved? It has nothing to do with us. Duraid is the leader of that territory. It's his role to help his own citizens, right? Wait, you don't need to go out for something like that, Father. I can deal with it. No. But why? I'm going to a village on the border with the kingdom of Ranverfurt. Ran Ranverfurt. That, that extra N in there is throwing me off. Apologies. Uh, we don't know what sort of dangers there might be. I'll go, so you stay and look after things here. There hasn't been any big fight with the kingdom of Ranverfurt for ages. I agree with what Lord Ashraf is saying. Uh, just because something didn't happen yesterday doesn't mean it won't happen tomorrow. Even if something does happen, Lord Ashraf will be fine. But you, Shima, Shema? Shema. That's it. If you understand, stay quiet. Baruch, prepare for departure. While we're out, we'll patrol this territory too. Jeez, we just got thrown under the bus. And you couldn't stand it and rushed out. Well, even I'm strong enough to knock mere robbers out. Well, uh, maybe. And even if it's near the border, it's not a matter of attacking Randverfurt, is it? So I don't see where there's a problem. Uh, I guess it's fine, but why do you have to take me with you, too? Well, it's Helwani territory we're talking about. You're a son of the Helwani clan, Nisreen, so it's only natural. Well, it's you who's asking, Ashima. And if it's true that the robbers showed up in our territory, I guess I have no choice. Well done. What I'd expect of my childhood friend. Ah, uh, but my father doesn't know I'm here. Just make sure you help me keep it that way. Alright. Don't tell dads. Oh. Hey, this place has been attacked already? That's not good. Just the two of them. I like their little tail holes there. It's, it's kind of funny. All right, uh, sorry. Eek! The, they're dead! That's terrible. I guess this place must have been attacked. So this was the work of the robbers, right? Now we don't know that, but it was said there that there were robbers, so... This is a pretty big job, so there must have been large numbers of robbers, right? Just us, it'll be... Shh, look over there. Ah, those are, yeah, Hundian soldiers. Soldiers of the kingdom of Ranverfurt. It wasn't robbers who attacked the village, it was the soldiers. What? This, this is bad. Let's get away quick before we're discovered. No way. Hundians from Ranverfurt. Ugh. Members of the Felis tribe? They be Hadik soldiers? 
Did you guys do this? This is so terrible. It's unforgivable. Hey, just wait a minute. We didn't... No more talk. Wait, listen to what we have to say. Shut up, shut up. As if I'm going to listen to what my enemies have to say. Shima, how about we just listen to their... You be quiet, Nizreen. No one can stop Shima once she gets like this. Don't do anything reckless, like storming into the enemy camp. If possible, it'd be better to have a strategy. When a mission starts, the screen for placing units appears. Press A on a yellow square to select a unit to place. You can place up to the maximum number or start the battle with the, we're just going to call it the start button. Uh, depending on the mission, there may be a unit whose sortie is forced. All right, that's fair. You can set strategies. Huh. You can set strategies with Y. Strategies that affect the entire party, strengthening parameters and generating special effects. Huh. Strategies can be changed at the start of missions and on the world map, but they cannot be changed during missions. Strategies that can be selected increase as the game progresses, for example, from treasure chests and as mission clear awards. Sure. Uh, at first, no strategy is fine, but once you get used to things, set an effective strategy for completing the mission. I think I'd want to set something. There's no reason not to, from what I understand. What should we do, Captain? As the Felix Corps, I want to avoid battle with Hadik soldiers. But it can't be helped. If the other side isn't going to listen, we're just going to have to do it. Great, let's give him what for. Wait, 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 Wendell. Oh, that's Wendell? Oh, I remember, I remember Wendell from Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, The Blade of Light. He was amazing. It's not the same Wendell. Uh, I want to clear up misunderstandings, so don't go too far. Understood, Captain. This seems bad. This now seems worse, but I see a treasure chest. Alright, I like the spin. Complete defeat of enemies. Okay. Complete defeat of allies. Alright. Uh, they do have cursor movement options, which I appreciate and love so very much. Uh, it defaults to top right, which is backwards for me, or just it's it's off for me. I, I don't like it. I like the top left option. That is the option that I'm using. It is what I've gotten used to over the years and my preferred method. They have that as an ability, as an option, as a thing. I love it. It's great. Each member fights freely, so there is no strategic effect. Increases attack and mat by 10%. Exchange decreases defense and MDF. Uh... Kind of like the idea of increasing strength, but uh, or attack, but that's fine. All right, what, how many units do we have? Oh, we have more than just the two. Oh, this is much less terrifying then. I I really thought we were in a lot of trouble. I mean, this doesn't mean that we're not in trouble. Actually, let's put you here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose. We have a shieldy warrior. I mean, do I need all five of you? Well, I can deploy five. I'll deploy five. Battle start. The conditions for victory, such as annihilation of the enemy or the defeat of a specific enemy unit, and the conditions for defeat, such as annihilation of allies, the retreat of a specific ally unit or guest units, or the passage of a specified number of turns are displayed. Cool. If the conditions for defeat are met, the mission will fail, and you can return to the title screen or restart from before the mission begins. You can check the conditions for victory or defeat in the menu during battle. Units' actions are taken in order of the AGI or agility value for both enemies and allies. Oh, that's cool. And are within a turn. Uh, the order of actions is a very important factor in advancing the battle such as which enemy will act next and whether allies will recover in time. It is a good idea to check continuously. Oh, that's cool. Units whose turns come around can use, or act using the using unit commands with move or A, attack. You can attack with weapons. Uh, when next to treasure chests, this becomes examine. Switchable. All right. Uh, skills. The command name changes for each class. For example, combat skill for warriors, divine skills for priests, and sorcery for wizards. MP is required for skills. MP starts at zero at the start of battle, and then the initial amount changes depending on the game difficulty. It recovers a certain amount each time the action turn comes around. 
you used the skill in the previous turn, the recovery amount will decrease. That all makes sense. Items you can use consumable items. Status, you can see detailed unit about the or information about the unit. Ooh, AI, you can set action guides for auto operation of the unit. You can change your forces to auto operation by long pressing the start button. Eh. Defense slash standby. If you are not executing an action command, attack, examine skills, and so on. Uh, you can select defense, which halves the damage until the next turn. Switchable to with standby. Blue square is the movement area. Red is the range when uh, being able to attack or fire. Uh, red frames is the weapon firing range for skills and items effective range. Okay, orange squares is the AOE. Hashed frames? What's a hashed frame? Okay. Uh, trap placed by the player will appear from the middle stage. Interesting. And X's are Zox squares. All right, zone of control, that force movement to stop. Okay, gotcha. There's a lot of uh, info here, but it's all stuff that if you are fans of this type of game, uh, you know, tactical turn-based strategy RPGs or SRPGs is the the slightly more uh, <laughs> the streamlined version of it, it's called. This is all very common stuff. You should know and be able to go like, oh, I, I totally get it. But we're still going to read through it just in case. Various corrections are applied depending on the position in the relation to the enemy. Position correction only affects attack and the skills attack. Orientation correction. Front, side, and back. Okay, yeah, yeah. If you attack the enemy from the side or back, a positive correction will be applied to hit and attack. Height correction. Attack from a higher position, you'll get a positive correction to hit and attack. Essentially getting a boost to those two things. And from lower, it would be a negative. Um, terrain correction. Hit and evade will be corrected depending on the terrain of the square where the unit is standing. They are very important in battles. It's a, that's a weird terminology. Corrections. Like positive, negative corrections. It's fine. It's just a it's an odd choice of word for that. But it's it, it, like I said, it's fine. It makes sense. It totally makes sense, it totally tracks, and we understand what's going on. Hate is a quantification of how easy it is to be targeted by enemy, or aggro, and the higher the value, the easier it is to be targeted. Uh, let's look over here at the thing. Huh. So the arrows... Okay, I got it, I got it. And the hate is just at the bottom there as a, as a single listing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, hate increases by dealing damage to enemies and healing allies and decreases by a certain amount when an action turn comes around. By intentionally raising hate with such skills as provoke, vanguard units can prevent attacks on rear guard units and advance the battle strategically. Yep. However, it is not always the case that characters with higher hate are targeted, so it is important not to let your guard down. I imagine there are certain skills that, or certain classes or characters that will specifically target whatever they want, so... The menu can be opened with Y, the unit list, owned items, quick save, load, system, retire can all be selected. You can also check the conditions for victory or defeat here. All right, it is our turn. And it does look like... At least starting out that we all have... So if I chose you... Okay, so this is actually the turn order. We have a we have a one, two, three, four, five, and so on turn order. So that's fine. And then all the way up. So we can't like choose other characters to go with first. Which is again totally fine. I am actually gonna move you down here and I'm gonna claim this chest. Examine. Three hundred gold and a heal bottle. I'll take it. There's another chest over here, which I'm going to also go and claim because I am a greedy person. And I want all of the treasure loot. 500 gold, a magic key, and leather boots. What? Very nice. All right. Um. Okay, so we can change. That's kind of interesting. I gotta say I like that. Uh, without moving the uh, cursor, if you use your analog stick, you move the camera around. So you can look around and not have to necessarily do all the other stuff, which is cool. I like the zoom in and out feature. I think that's pretty neat. 
Very nice. All right, back to back to this. Um, I don't know that I necessarily want to go up directly, but you know, I think maybe we just wait. I I, I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, so I think I just defend. I'm just curious to see what they decide to do. If they come down and attack us, then they're going to lose their high ground position. And we're going to be in a better... Ah, see, they didn't. They uh, correctly assessed the situation and they made a good call there. But we're also not out of position now either, so this is fine. Chances are... If you're going... Um, chances are... We will be able to pull them down now because we're actually giving them the high ground advantage. And we'll see how this works. Yep. Oh, knocked me to the side. Oh, it only pulled the one guy down. All right. Well, that is interesting. All right, so... Oh, it throws me off so much. Switching angles. Um... I'm gonna go behind and attack. There we go. Battle Princess skill. Sun Slash. Quick Step. Increases the user's uh, evade and agility by 35% for four turns. Depends on the weapon. Still not a lot of damage. We're actually doing way less damage than I was uh, guessing we would. Can I attack from here? I can't, can I? Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, how far out can I heal? All right, let's go here. Can I uh, can I use my divine heal on you? I can. Don't know that I necessarily needed to. Just wanted to see. Why does he have a red um, health? I should have probably used it on this one. All right, and you're a wizard, actually. Oh, could have done things a little differently had I paid enough attention to that. Fireball is single attack. It is the strongest thing. We'll do 47 damage to him, which will definitely hurt him. I should have used the spear guy to actually attack, but that's okay. This will take him down. Should. All right, down he goes. There's the quick bonk. Oh, that's the hate level. Okay, sorry. I gotcha. I gotcha. I understand. You are not really designed for this. Can I... I can do first aid. Let's do that. Should have maybe moved first. Oh, I can move afterward, right? Yeah. Stand by. He's going to aggro. Which is nice. Uh, I'm going to go for the combat. Stone, physical, and we can throw that. Battle princess. we we'll use that up. Let's just go with a basic attack. Back attack. Critical. We go spear from the side this time around. Let's see. Spearmanship power rush. A lot more damage. Oh, he shielded it. No, that's that's not cool. And you look, these guys are buffing up and they're moving ahead in the, the turn order. Spear stab. Uh, 
All right, what's the basic skill? Okay, assault. All right, we're gonna go with sorcery again. Soul centering, increase magic for four turns. We're gonna do fireball again. Just feels right. Fireball Duke, and there it is. And up and over, and basic attack. He's gonna do 38. He's got 24 health. Uh, what is her hit chance? Plus 25. I don't know what that means. Oh, it tells me there. 100% chance to hit. He's got a 25% chance to shield, though. But he did not. He did not shield, so we're okay. All right. So at this stage, what are, what are we? What are we up against here? What are you? You're a warrior, and you're a priest. So I feel like bonking and knocking out the warrior makes the most sense. Once again, I am going to use first aid. And I am going to move over here. My goal is actually to... Get the treasure loot there. So I think we're going to try leaving the priest alive and we're going to take the the enemy out, if we can. The other one. I feel like this guy's gonna get a heal, though. Because here comes the, uh, the double-double. There's the heal. Yep. And he's moving deeper in, and you're going after... Yep. Uh, expected. Uh, can we still hit him with basic sorcery? We can, but we have to be here. Basic traditional beginner sorcery. Burn for it. All right, and then we come over here and body strike. Feels good. Let's get it. And curse splat. Down he goes. And all we have left is the clerical individual, which we know will not make any errors. But cler clerical error? No. no. Okay. Sorry. 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 All right. I think we're gonna move here, probably. Um. Fine. Actually, what about protection? Because it's possible he'll either buff himself up or he'll go after the 63, which is the highest number. And the back was turned, so... Just kind of made sense, right? Um... You know what? Why don't we do the overlooked? Lower our hatred down to nothing. And then do you have leg aim? I think we're going to try to hit him with some slow foot. Bat. Oh, we critically hit him for slow foot. Yeah. The slow, only the slowest of foots. Feets? Feet, feeties. Ooh, 1200, a revival potion? That's great. All right, let's uh, let's actually look around the map real quick. I'm pretty sure that we are donezo. We are. All right. Who's uh? She's next. Uh, she cannot reach, but she can throw a stone probably. Here, catch. Ow. Uh, divine heal, 40%. Heal plus, restores, ranges, targets, HP by 50. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, and I think we also got a 50 HP increase. Ah, he's throwing out his own heal. Is he going to run away? No, he ran in. It's like, I don't run from you fools. You can't handle me. I mean, I think we'll be able to handle you. Let's slow you down a little bit. You got slow foot and more slow foot. Schmack. Yeah. Oh, he shielded. All right. It's fair. 
Our individual's on his way back in. He's like, you know what? We got this. Or Dania? Dania. Probably not a, not a he. But maybe. I don't know. Who's to say? I say we just bonk you. You're going to shield attack again. Or, or block again, I should say. And I think the spear puts you down. Boop. And we said good day, sir. Congratulations! I like it a lot. We were awarded a thousand gold, 350 experience, and 610 CP, and a revival potion. These are all very good things. Oh, I like seeing our ranks go up. It's very nice. So it looks like we're going to be able to change classes, maybe, down the line. Pretty exciting. Tell me, why did you do such terrible things? Well, just a minute. You're wrong there. It wasn't us. We didn't lay a finger on the villagers. That's right. We were just looking for survivors in case we could help even one person. What nonsense. Even at a time like this, you Hundians are, aren't you? The Felis tribe and the Hundians have been hostile for such a long time. As if I'm ever going to believe what someone like you says. But it's true. When we came here... There were some guys running away. This was probably their doing. What are you talking about? Who were they? I don't know, but we're soldiers. We might attack other soldiers, but we don't attack villagers. They we weren't part of the battle. I mean, you gotta believe that. Just wait a minute, Shema. What these people are saying could be correct. What do you mean? The villagers have been attacked by magic, but it seems that none of the allies with these guys can use magic. Hmm. It's true that none of the villagers have injuries from swords. I guess they might be telling the truth. Hell, well, looks like you understand. That's good. So you guys get away. Quick. Aren't you going to make us prisoners of war? The proud Felis tribe doesn't do things like that. Maybe not, anyway. You invaded Hadik territory, but you were trying to help the villagers. We wouldn't take prisoners even then. I see. Well, in that case, we'll leave. See ya. Alright, when you clear a mission, the next mission point will appear on the world map, and you can start the mission with A. There are also missions with no combat and just dialogue. On the world map, Y opens the world map menu. You can customize your units with formations in the world map menu, conduct save and load, and so on. Uh, an explanation of the world map menu. Formations change the classes, skills, equipment, and so on of the unit. Administration change your strategy and hire and dismiss general units. Cool. Free battles. Battle missions where the story does not progress. So it allows you to get some more experience and level up. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, owned items. Check your items and equipment. Shop, buy and sell stuff. Modifications. Strengthen your equipment with rune stones. It unlocks as the game progresses. Save, load, and system. Change various settings of the game from options and config. Also, manuals and trophies can be checked. Uh, use the formations command in the world map menu to check the unit status and change classes, skills, and equipment. Level... Experience, HP, MP, class, unique, and faith. The level of the unit, the current experience, level up at 100. Strength, if this drops to zero, the unit becomes unable to fight. That's HP above zero, win, or equals win. MP is our magic power, required to use skills, class, main class name and rank. Subclasses are unlocked as the game progresses. Cool. Unique class, this class is set for the unit from the beginning, and it cannot be changed. Okay. And then faith, the god the unit worships. Each god grants various faith effects. All right, cool. Okay, and an explanation of abilities real quick. Attack affects the amount of damage inflicted from physical attacks. Defense amount sustained from physical attacks. Mat is uh, your accuracy, damage inflicted, and status abnormality probability of magic attacks. Uh, magic defense with MDF. Hit affects the accuracy of physical attacks. Evade is your evasion of physical attacks. Agility is like initiative, oftentimes, so it you know, affects your turn order, it's your speed. Uh, MPR affects the amount of MP recovered per uh, for each action order, okay. 
So each turn, your MPR is how much you get back. And then I guess that gets reduced when you use a skill versus not using a skill. CRT is an old style monitor before HD. Mo I'm sorry. Uh, CRT affects the occurrence of critical damage from physical attacks. GRD affects the rate at which shields will reduce damage from physical attacks. Uh, movement is the number of squares that can be moved. And jump is the difference in height that can be moved across. Okay, makes sense. And resistance is physical is to uh, resistance to physical attributes. Fire is fire and heat. And fire, at, uh, fire attributes. Water resistance to water and ice. Wind, wind and lightning. Spirit to weakening. Slow foot, resistance to slow foot, sickness, sickness, ceiling, ceiling, paralysis, paralysis, and death. Resistance to delayed death, death, and instant death. The main class greatly affects the ability of the unit. Equipment restrictions are also affected by the main class. Subclasses can be set when you reach a specified level and will slightly affect the ability of the unit. The skill of the class set in the class slot can be used in battle. The rank of a class increases when CP is added to the main class subclasses. Subclass when a mission is cleared. Sorry, the CP is added to the main class and subclass when a mission is cleared. Uh, the CP ex and the CP exceeds a certain value. The new classes may be unlocked as the class rank increases. Okay. Skills can be learned and improved by training in the skill tree from the skill command by paying the training fee in training. The skill level will rise. You can strengthen the skill by increasing the power of the skill and increasing the firing range and area. By raising the skill level of the prerequisite skill, the lock will be cleared and a higher skill will be unlocked. Certain classes have special skills, beast skills that are unlocked as the game progresses. You can set a passive skill. It always activates from passive equipment in the skill command. Passive skills can be set for up to six slots. Oh, neat. You can set a unit's equipment from the equipment command. Equip equipment parts are for four slots, right hand, left hand, body, armor, and other. One-handed weapons are for right hand, shields are for left. You can automatically set equipment with the start button when selecting an equipment slot. You can set the god for a unit to worship with the faith command. Each god they believe in has a has a various effects and faith can be changed at any time such as when your units class equipment or fighting style changes ah that's kind of cool all right there's a whole bunch of information uh, i think they got through like a vast majority of the tutorial and how the game works we got to play through a battle and kind of see it all in action and i think it set us up very nicely for us to dive into chapter two and continue our adventure in the very next episode once again, I want to shout out to Chemco for hooking me up with the code for this. It means a lot, and I do truly appreciate it. Uh, again, it's been one of the companies I've been trying to uh, find a way to get a hold of and notice and so on and so forth uh, for uh, quite some time, and I'm super happy that it's finally happened. Um, if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, publisher, and any of that stuff down below in the description of the video, there will be various links. Make sure you guys go and check that out. And until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>